Welcome to this series on sailboat parts. In this series I'm gonna explain all the different sailboat parts and go over their names. So regular viewers you might notice today we're gonna do it a little bit differently because today there's no video of me. But we are gonna look at sailboat pictures and models and stuff so it's very scientific if you're a beginner sailor and you just want to figure out what the general names of the parts are this video is exactly for you i'm just going to walk you through them real quick and there are other videos that dive deeper into each different segment and i generally divide the sailboat up into four main categories or segments and the first one we're going to take a look at here is the hull so the hull is now in blue and the hull is just the floating device, let's say. So it's what most people would consider being the boat. It's the, it's the part that provides buoyancy and it supports everything else. So everything else is attached to the hull. The mast, the sails, all the rigging. And without the hull, there would, there would just be no boat. So the hull consists of all kinds of different parts and I'll go over them briefly in a next diagram. And there's going to be a, an entire video, which I'll link to in the cards and in the description below. So click on that if you're interested. The next segment in red here is the mast. And the mast is the long standing pole which holds the sails. And it's what gives sailboats their, well, their characteristic shape in a way. <laughs> it's crucial for any sailboat. Without a mast, it would just be a regular power boat. So next segment is the sails. And the sails are, well, it speaks for itself, right? It's the part which propels the boat, let's say. Most modern sailboats will have two sails up, but you can use a variety of other specialty sails. And I did an entire video on sail types, going into depth about everything there's to know about sail types. So in this video, I'll walk you through all the names for different parts of the sails, the names for different kinds of sails. So with that video, you're gonna be up to speed on how to call each and every different sail. So the way the mast and the sails are set up on the boat is called the rig type. The most common rig type is the Bermuda sloop, which is what you see here, which, which is a triangular mainsail, one head sail, which is the jib, and uh, one mast holding them up. There are all kinds of different configurations out there, like gaff rigs, catch rigs, tall ships, which is a bit of the pirate ships in a way, because it's not completely correct to call them pirate ships. And I did a complete video explaining all these different rig types. So if you're interested in recognizing all these different kinds of boats, I, I really recommend you checking that one out. So in my last segment is the rigging. And the rigging is probably the most complex category of all of them. The rigging is the way in which the sails are attached to the mast and these are, well it consists of all kinds of lines and cables and spars and hardware. So we're going kind of fast here. So I really recommend you just skipping back after you're done watching this video and just clicking the, the cards or go into the description which will contain all the links and just re re in a relaxed way go through all of these videos because it will give you a very broad and comprehensive view of all the sailboat parts. Actually, I'll put them in a playlist and I'll link to the playlist at the end of the video. So let's move on to a general overview of the most important parts. So if you take anything away from this video, I just want you to know the four main segments and these couple of parts. You see that the down most most downward part is the keel and the keel is what holds the boat upright in a way it's a bit of a stabilizing part for the sailboat not all sailboats have a keel though but most seaworthy blue water sailboats do well the hull itself which is actually the bad top <laughs> let's say don't tell out the sailors i'm calling it a bad bathtub because it's a bit I think it's a bit of cursing but all right the most front part is called the bow and the most back part aft part is called the stern and attached to the stern you see the rudder 
or rudders in this way in this case and the rudder is attached to the helm or the wheel so you'll find that a lot of marine or nautical terms are just they're referring to very ordinary parts and in regular life it would it would be called a rope or a wheel but well we sailors we like to make things difficult well there's actually a reason of course but that's not for this video the top part of the hull is called a deck this is the part well everybody knows the deck i guess it's the part you walk on and you got the cockpit and the cockpit is just well it's it's pretty straightforward it's the place where you steer where you drive the boat so let's move up to the mast and the sails so you got the main mast which is the long standing pole in the center and the mast has a horizontal spar which is called the boom and the main sail is attached to this boom and the most front sail is regularly called the jib so now you're up to speed with the most common sailboat parts all sailboats have these parts even um, other rig types and other uh, hull types and there are some other parts I just wanted to point out quickly I'll show you some pictures of them so the main sheet traveler the main sheet is attached to the boom and it, it controls the angle of the main sail to the wind and the main sheet traveler is just ordinarily it's a rail um, which helps you to set the angle then we have the winches and winches are just spools in a way that are used to trim your lines and sheets easily so it, it can help you to have a bit of a lever and not haul in all your sheets by yourself by the way sheets are just ropes <laughs> ropes that control sails then we have your compass i think everybody's familiar with compasses but the compass is mainly in the cockpit for navigation of course and the chart plotter which is the electronical counterpart to the compass and the chart plot is just a gps system that plots charts as well well of course your outboard motor most sailboats have an outboard motor and even bigger ones use generally very small motors you don't need a lot of power because of the whole type of sailboats the displacement hole it's very efficient and my last part for you today is the anchor and most sailboats carry at least one anchor most blue water offshore sailboats cruisers use three anchors so the bow anchor is the first one and the other two are stern anchors which provide extra stability and that is it i don't have anything more to add for now so if you like this video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel everybody counts and we're and we're trying to be the best and most helpful sailing resource on the internet and if you want to find out more about other sailboat parts click on the playlist on the screen it will help <laughs>